Hi everyone, welcome back to Dr. Kumar channel. Myself, Dr. Shiva Jyoti. Today, we will be seeing uh, what are the exercises we should do for the diastasis recti. In the last video, I have demonstrated how to go for the self-checking of the diastasis recti. So, after this, after uh, you go for the assessment or for the self-checking, you can start up with the exercises. What exercises should we do and how many times should we do? We will be seeing in this uh, video. Let us see with the exercises now. Now, you will see what exercise we should do for the diastasis recti. The first one is we are where we will be activating the transverse abdominus muscle which is one of the important muscle where it will be giving the support to the abdomen so how to activate that one we'll see that so what we have to do is ask the person to take the breath in the breath in should be like that the, their abdomen should sink into towards the spine means that much they should con, uh, take a breath okay. now we will be demonstrating it that for you now take the breath Now see when person is this uh, person is trying to sink the abdomen down towards the spine. Now relax. So by doing this, there will be activation of the transverse abdominus muscle. Again, do it. Relax. Again, do it. Relax. This is the first exercise. Next exercise is heel tapping. Along with the activation of the transverse abdominis, we will be going for the heel tapping also. Now, I will demonstrate that one. Yeah. Now, take the air in. Now, do the heel tapping. Yes. Get it down. One. Two. Relax. Breathe out. Again, do the same. Breathe in. Heel tap. Yes. Next one. Yes. This is how we will be doing the heel tapping. Now the next one is bridging. So along with the activation of the transverse abdominis, we will be going for the bridging also. Then take the breathe in, lift the pelvis up. Yeah, now we do it. Lift the pelvis up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Get it down. Relax. Again do the same. Breathe in, lift the pelvis up. Buttocks should be up slightly. Yes. Now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Get it down. This is the another exercise. Now, the next one is the side planks. What we have to do is turn towards one side and you should bear your total body weight onto the hand and onto the legs by lifting the hip part away from the bed. Now, turn towards that side. Yes, have to bend the one leg and the weight should be lifted onto the hand onto this leg. Yeah, now st straight, you be straight. Yes, lift up your pelvis up or the hip up. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Get it down. Can you do it once again? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Get it down. The plank should be done in this manner, side planks. Next exercise is wall squares. They have to squat with the, onto the supporting to the wall. Just you try to sit as if you are uh, doing that. Okay. Maintain this position for the five counts. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, get it back. Again, once again you do this. One, two, three, four, five. Get up. You can do this exercise by placing the ball at the back also, taking the support of uh, just keeping the ball at the back and uh, support it to that to the wall one side and onto the body and then you can go for the squatting. Next is exercise is also the same but while we are squatting, just placing the ball in between the both the knees, squeeze the ball and squat. Just, I'll place the ball. Yeah, now hold it. Now try to squat. Squeeze the ball while you are sitting the one. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Straight. Do it again. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Get back. Okay. Next exercise is, is Kegel's exercise. In this exercise, we have to contract the lower part of the vagina or just like how you will be doing 
when you are in the urgency of passing the urine means just like and voiding the stop or stopping the flow of the urine in the midstream so that way you should contract your that uh, lower part area and squeeze it for hold it for 5 seconds and then relax so this also can be practiced so all these exercises what i am showing in this video are the basic exercises which you should need to practice and uh, do these exercises every exercise for the 10 repetitions or uh, if it is not possible for you for doing for the 10 repetitions you can practice this all these exercises for initially for the 5 repetitions later you can progress it on to the 10 repetitions now we have seen with the exercises what should we do but some precautions or some things are there which we are not supposed to do like sit ups crunches straight leg raises where you will be putting all the it means whatever the activities which will be putting an extra pressure over the abdomen should be avoided like planks also should be avoided so all these uh, activities will be causing an excessive pressure and because of that there can be a chances that the this diastasis recti or the gapping will be increasing more so better to avoid those activities and continue with the exercises to have a good progress if you like the video share it and subscribe it and for further notifications click the bell icon thank you for watching the video